Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. On season 28 of The Bachelor, Joey Graziadi and Kelsey Anderson became engaged, a sight that thrilled viewers of the show. The recently engaged couple has been receiving millions and millions of views on TikTok as they flaunt their love. Fans are smitten with Kelsey's beautiful behind-the-scenes glimpse into their relationship, which she shared this week. The pair can be seen in the movie going on a range of adventures, including cleaning, traveling, taking the subway, celebrating Kelsey's birthday, and raising a glass to their beverages. I love you so much at Joey Grazia Day, Kelsey wrote in the caption on the video. Joey responded with, I love you, Pookie. Millions of people watched the video, hundreds of thousands liked it, and thousands commented on it very rapidly. Fans of Bachelor Nation showered these two with love in the comments section. This has us kicking our feet and giggling, said one person, and the chemistry you had when y'all laid eyes on each other was unmatched, wrote another. Really pleased for you. We are in complete agreement with the affection shown here, and we too can't get enough of these two. Please don't stop Joey making it these and Kelsey fit. Anderson intend to get engaged for a very long time. They just provided information on their decision to be engaged for such a long time. Additionally, the two intend to move into a little apartment in New York City. Since they may now be publicly recognized as a couple, many changes are taking place in their life. It's time for Joey and Kelsey to begin their life together. Josephy Graziadi and Kelsey Anderson relocating to New York City. It's decided that Kelsey and Joey will relocate to New York City. It appears that Kelsey has been wanting to do this for a while, and Joey is having fun going on this journey with her. Joey is encouraging me to live there. We're young, and I believe now is the right time for us to experience living in a small, claustrophobic flat together. I've always wanted to live there. We may at least claim to have done it, even if we detest it. Joey grew up in Hawaii, so he's accustomed to beaches and mild weather. He's looking forward to the new experience and sharing it with Kelsey, though. The two intend to have a protracted relationship. Recently, Joey Graziadi and Kelsey Anderson made it known that they desired a protracted engagement. It's time to appreciate this now. We want to promise one other our life together, but we don't want to rush it. We can celebrate it for the rest of our lives. We're just going to enjoy this moment and take things day by day. The couple anticipates being engaged for two or three years before getting married, and Kelsey is unsure of the type of wedding she wants. I really have no idea how I want my wedding to look, but I know that all of my close friends and family should be there. Where should my timeless wedding take place, I wonder. Uncertain. We will have to work that out, I suppose. The two don't seem to be in a rush to tie the knot. They just want to enjoy their time together, so they're not delaying it. At last, Joey and Kelsey are able to spend quality time together without having to hide their relationship. Viewers are eager to follow the trajectory of their romance. In addition, fans are interested in seeing how well-matched they are in the real world away from cameras and other female participants. How do you feel? Comment Here's down like below Joey with your Grazia D and Kelsey Anderson have chosen a name for their first child already. On The Bachelor's episode from last night, it was shown that the two were getting engaged. They have a lot of ideas for the future now that they can talk about their love in public. Joey and Kelsey will be relocating to New York City, where they will reside in a compact apartment. To discover the name. Is Kelsey Anderson good friends with the family of Joey Graziadi? Recently, Kelsey Anderson made it known whether or not she is close to Joey's family. She is, particularly in regards to his sister. We have a close friendship. I think I talk to them more often than I do Joey. 
Then Joey answered. These days, they talk nearly too much. It was like, oh wait, they really do love each other when I opened that door. Given that Daisy and Kelsey have positive relationships with their families, fans are pleased that Kelsey maintains a tight relationship with them. What's the name of the baby? Kelsey disclosed that she intended to adopt Joey's last name. Still, they had already discussed baby names. So I'd like to give my first child the name Anderson, so that it will endure. Joey concurred, demonstrating that they shared the same opinion. When would they like to start a family? We've discussed potential names for the children, but not yet. There aren't any in the future. It appears that they do not intend to become parents anytime soon, despite the fact that they are discussing potential baby names. They hope to enjoy the next two or three years of their engagement. Speaking with Lexi, Joey disclosed that her departure was due to his desire to delay having children for a number of years. Fans cannot hold Joey responsible, though, because he is still a young man and needs to make sure Kelsey is the right person before adding more humans to the world. Kelsey seemed to have known what she wanted for a long time. Despite taking Joey's last name, she does this to maintain her own in their family. Supporters find this to be a sweet way to use her maiden name. But for the time being, the couple does not wish to have kids. What are your thoughts on the name they intend to give their first child? Do you believe that discussing children at this time is premature? Comment Just down below is opening up and talking further about her time as the first bachelor. She spoke with Susan Knowles and Kathy Swartz about how effects were for her during that time. She participated that she was called bad names and was indeed slut lowered. What did she partake? Keep reading to find out further. Trista Sutter admits to being slut lowered the first ever. Bachelor Trista Sutter stopped by Bachelor Happy Hour Golden Hour to sputter with Susan Knowles and Kathy Swartz. She took the two ladies back in time and told them that when her season came out, it was veritably controversial. Trista said, I got called every name in the book. People said I was going to look like a slut or that I was going to be a hoe because it was one girl and 25 guys. She continued to explain how it was for her during that time as The Bachelor. Trista said, Because of that, I really held back in terms of physicality with the men. There was one Joe named Jamie who asked me if he could have a kiss one night and I said perhaps just on the impertinence. Everyone kisses on the first night now. It's crazy. I feel like I was veritably reticent because I was veritably apprehensive of the public perception. Also, my family was watching in thingamabob. Trista Sutter also revealed if she'd go back and change anything. In short, she said no. She went on to say that she's where she's in life because of all that happened in the history so she wouldn't change anything. Still, she believed more in herself and not give in to a Joe, just because she wanted to date him. At the time, she wanted to have fun and go to all the balls. She'd get into a relationship because she allowed. She demanded it. Still, she now knows it's okay to be alone. Looking back, she'd have told herself not to settle. To this day, she still teaches her two children that, Trista was lucky and met Ryan in her season. The two were married on TV and have been happily in love ever ago. The couple lately moved from Vale to Denver and are conforming to life in the bigger megacity. What do you suppose about Trista being slut lowered when she was the bachelor? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.